In this video, I'm going to give you six reasons why I don't use cPanel for my small web hosting business, and I don't recommend that you do it either. I get comments all the time on my Linux web hosting and home server hosting videos about cPanel and WHM. cPanel and its companion product WHM, or Web Host Manager, are graphical user interfaces for Linux web hosting that gives your customers access to administer their own accounts. It allows them to publish their own content, create email accounts, and manage their domains. It also gives you a system to collect monthly payments and disable accounts for non-payment. It isn't free for the web hosting company, but they do often provide it as a free convenience for their customers. Sounds great, right? So why don't I recommend you use it for home-based web hosting companies? Reason number one is it's one more thing to install, keep updated, troubleshoot, and administer. The phrase keep it simple stupid applies here. You want as few things as possible to potentially break for your customers. And if I'm gonna take the time to install, configure, and support cPanel, it'd be easier just to administer the accounts directly myself. Because you're gonna get emails that people can't log in, forgot their password, their browser isn't compatible with some feature, and on and on. I've been doing this for very small companies of five users or less for about 20 years, and I can promise you that 90% or more of your customers like that are going to just set it and forget it, and rarely bother you for administrative stuff anyway. So they won't use cPanel much even if it was offered to them. Number two is it introduces possible vulnerabilities. Anytime you give access to your server to anyone outside your network, it will open up potential security issues. And cPanel does not have very good security built in anyway. You could force your clients to use a VPN to connect, but then you get yet another thing to train customers on, support, manage, and deal with. Number three is, that isn't any different than the big providers. All the big web hosting providers give access to cPanel or some similar control panel. So why would a customer choose your service over a big name company? You need a competitive advantage. And in my opinion, the way to do that is to offer a white glove concierge hosting experience where you take care of all that for the customer. Number four is eventually you'll run into the amateur IT guy. At some point in your web hosting business, you'll have a customer that thinks they know more than you do. They did a bunch of research or some guy told them about some new website doodad that they have to have and they want to install it and they'll complain that cPanel doesn't offer it and you definitely don't want to give them root access. So instead of fighting with cPanel and trying to make it work for these super users, it's best to just tell them you'll do it for them or let them go find another provider. Reason number five is it makes customers more sticky. If you want to keep your customers for a long time, the best way to do that is for them to depend upon you. If they can do everything themselves with the help of a control panel, then why do they need you? As I said before, there are hundreds or thousands of other providers out there with control panels. We want them to be so entrenched in using us as their go-to resource that they won't even know how to function without us. And along the same lines, number six is attract the lazy customers. By making your web hosting service completely hands-off for the customer, you'll attract the customers that are too lazy or too busy to learn how to use a control panel. Seriously, people already have so many logins and passwords and systems that they have to juggle and learn how to use to run their business, they don't want another one. So take it all off their hands and they'll easily pay you double the monthly fee of other companies. In conclusion, cPanel is used by the mega providers that have tens of thousands of customers, a dedicated support team, server admins, and security people to make it well worth it. But for small time home hosting providers, it just isn't worth the time, hassle, and risk and turns your service into a commodity instead of a value added service. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment and a thumbs up below.